So let's say a girl wants to start dressing more modestly. She goes to the department store and everything is low riser jeans and the tight tops and the yoga pants and this and that. Like, what is she supposed to do if she can't find stuff modest? Like, what are maybe some, does she get involved in activism? Does she create her brands herself? Like, what are some fashion tips? Should she try layering? Like, what does the girl do who wants to dress modestly, goes to the store and feels like, wow, there's literally nothing for me? Yeah. So I, I really, I like, I love this question because for me, um, what I ended up doing personally, and I, there's some great resources now worthy of wearing, um, has just the, a book that, um, Nicole Caruso just put out, um, is a great, great book called worthy of wearing. And it really talks about how to develop your own sense of style and fashion without neglecting, um, the fact that we're daughters of God and we, we are worthy of wearing something beautiful and modest to showcase our femininity. And so that's a great resource for me. What I did, um, is, uh, you can, uh, you can, now you can do this on Pinterest, but go through the decades of fashion, go through the history of fashion. I, this is something I love. This is a passion of mine. So this might not be your, your bag, but I went through and I was like, what do I love about this? What do I see? What's the femininity of women that is coming through these different pieces of fashion? And you will see fashion and the history of fashion progress from, from something that accentuates the woman's um, body type that is beautiful and good and modest, okay? And then you see it slowly, like first off, there's just less fabric as we get further on down through the decades. Um, and it's really showcasing parts of a woman. You'll see it really obvious. But to, when you go through that, it can inspire you to find your style, to find outfits and clothing that you like and that you like seeing put together. And when you see that, then you can start looking in other places. You're not gonna, like sometimes some of these, when I get this question of like, well, we keep going to this, this store, but we can't find anything. Well, that was the same store that this girl went to when she was dressing really immodestly. And so for the women who've come to me saying, Hey, listen, I've had this, I've had this realization that I don't want to dress this way anymore, but I keep, but I don't know what to find. I'm like, well, you're going to find a different store then. And the great thing is, is that there's a lot of opportunity now more than ever, more than ever, even though there's still the immodest stuff um, out there to find those, those pieces and put them together. Um, and you can, there's so many great accounts on Instagram that you can follow that you can find for modest cl clothing. And that is, they don't have to say modest. It's just, and I think that's what going through the history of fashion and kind of finding some styles that you like and finding the right style of fashion that, that, that you feel most comfortable in is really helpful because then you can find it exactly what this looks like. And a lot of times it's, if it's just, um, I mean, I, you know, I still go with the classics. I still go with the classic white top and a blazer and slacks or a pair of jeans if I just want to hang out or, um, some great A-line dr dresses. Um, those things are always in style. And so again, because style is so personal, I think it's important for, for each woman to take a look at what works best with their body type and then be able to realize that they're going to have to look at different shops that they probably never would have walked into or shopped at or visited that online store to take a look to see what, what's happening. And you can take that based on what you've seen maybe in, in your own uh, style preferences. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that little clip, but if you want to see the whole episode where this came from, just click the link here. And in the meantime, we want to invite you to help us share this message. And there's a couple things you can do real quick. Number one, if you like or comment or share this video, YouTube will actually show it to more people. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. We release videos every single day and you'll be notified as soon as those come out. If you want to help us also to spread this message, you can support us at Patreon dot com slash Jason Everett that helps us to create these videos and show them to the whole world. God bless.